Hey guys, it's Christina Marie from Dating Snippets. And today I was gonna go through what kind of pictures to not have on your dating apps like Bumble and Hinge. So what photos to avoid. So before we get started, please subscribe below. Um, I don't like to create these videos unless my subscribers go up. So if you want more videos, click the subscribe button. Okay, so here are 10 tips on pictures to avoid on your dating apps. And if you avoid these pictures, you'll get more swipes right. Okay, so thing number one to avoid, which is really, really common, is a picture of you looking all cool on some hot, flashy car. So you might be thinking, well, I have a really sexy car, shouldn't I be showing that off? Uh, no. Don't show off the sexy car. We ladies either think one, it's not your car, or two, if you have to prove that you have a nice car, you're compensating for something else. So um, no pictures of you in a car. We read straight through it and uh, it's not very attractive. Pick number two to avoid, which is really, really common, is you doing a selfie of yourself in the mirror at the gym. Um, so yeah, you have a hot body, we wanna know that you look good, but it comes across as kind of fake and cocky. So don't have the famous selfie gym pic. Um, if you have a hot body, yes, show it off, but have a different picture to show it off. It could be you on a hike with your shirt off. That's a way to show off your body. Or you at the beach with friends. That's a way to have a hot body pick, just not a gym pick. Um, it comes across as really shallow and fake, so none of those. Um, tip number three on pictures to avoid are pictures of you that are more than three years old. Um, it's confusing to us ladies when we see one picture of you and you look one way and another picture and you look completely different. Um, so what if you've gained weight? Should you include the older pictures? No, don't. Um, it's very fake and you might get the date, but then it's gonna be a waste of your time because the woman's gonna be like, well, he lied on how he looked. Um, so don't catfish women. You don't like it when we do it. Um, so I'm gonna give the same advice to you guys. Don't have pictures that are more than three years old. If you only have pictures that are really old, get some more photos taken, pay somebody or start going out and taking pictures. Um, tip number four on what pictures to avoid on dating apps like Bumble and Hinge are pictures of you and a kid. So yes, it's really sweet. It's really endearing when you have a cute picture of you with your niece or your nephew but a lot of women are swiping super duper quickly and they will see that photo and think it is your kid. Um, and for a lot of women, dating a guy with kids is a deal breaker. So even though you might caption that this is a picture of you and your niece, or this is a picture of you and your nephew. Um, a lot of women won't read that caption. They'll just see you and a kid and say, nope, not for me and move on. So even though it's cute, um, don't include pictures of a kid because it might have a woman swipe on you thinking it is yours. Um, tip number five is don't include you, a picture of you and another female. Um, so I know that picture of you and your ex-girlfriend is a really flattering picture, don't include it. If it's a picture of you and a female friend, don't include it. If it's a picture of you and another female with the female cropped off, still don't include it because we can tell that you um, cut off the photo and cut the woman out of it. Uh, we just don't wanna know about your ex-girlfriends or your female friends. Um, just be safe, guys. For a lot of women, it's a turnoff. So don't include pictures of you with another woman. Even if you crop them out, we can tell. Um, tip number six, six, number six, on photos to avoid on dating apps like Bumble are photos of you and your more attractive friends. Um, so I see this a lot. A guy on his main picture, he'll have him and a friend. And then you see his other photos and you're like, oh, whoops. Uh, 
I like the look of his more attractive friend, not him. Um, so don't include pictures of you and more attractive friends. Um, even if it's just don't, don't do it. Uh, it makes you look worse. Only include pictures of you with friends that are as attractive as you. Um, just make your chances better. Don't include pictures of your hot friends. Uh, tip number seven is don't include a picture of you and a fish. Um, so I live in Atlanta, Georgia, and I swear, not exaggerating, probably 10%, 25% of guys have a photo of them and a fish. Um, it's not a bad photo by any means. It's kind of funny, but uh, it's not unique. Uh, you might think, oh, I caught this really big fish. I should show it off. Uh, for us women, it's not unique. It is so, so common to see photos of guys with fish. So uh, it's not bad necessarily, but it's not unique if you think it is unique. Uh, if you have a different photo, include that instead. Uh, tip number eight is don't include a selfie in the bathroom. It's really common. So many guys' bathrooms, I know what their bathroom looks like because there's a selfie of them in the bathroom. I get it that um, you don't have any pictures, so you're trying to get a selfie of you getting ready and the bathroom happens to be where you have a mirror. Um, it just looks cheesy. The lighting's never great in the bathroom. Most guys' bathrooms aren't that attractive in my experience. So um, don't include selfies of you in the bathroom. I know you might think it's a hot, sexy picture, but it's not. Um, tip number nine, nine, to avoid is pictures of you getting drunk or drinking with your guy friends. Um, you wanna show that you're outgoing, so having a group of friends is totally cool, but when you have a picture of you drinking, it just like, kind of strikes us as immature maybe and like you're a party boy and that you just want to hook up. So don't have pictures of you with alcohol in your photo. It just doesn't make the best impression. And then tip number 10 is don't include blurry photos and don't include five photos, none of which actually show your face. We want to see what you look like. So don't include any blurry old photos. Um, make sure that they're crisp and high quality. So in summary, here are the photos to avoid on dating apps. Avoid pictures of you in a car. Avoid gym pictures. Avoid pictures that are more than three years old. Avoid pictures of you and a kid on dating apps. Cut out those pictures that include you with another girl, even if she's cropped off. Don't have pictures of you with your more attractive friends. Avoid fish pictures if possible. Don't have any bathroom pictures. No bathroom pictures. Don't have pictures of you getting drunk and don't have pictures that are blurry. They're not ideal. Okay, so really quick summary. What kind of photos should you have? Um, check out my other videos below. I have a full video with my friend Courtney where we go over the best kind of photos to have on dating apps like Bumble and Hinge in the league. But here are some pointers for you. Um, pictures with friends are good. Just don't have too many. Having one picture with you with friends shows that you're outgoing and it's a good photo. If you are active, have at least one picture of you doing something active. It could be hiking, it could be doing soccer or tennis or a sport. Um, it's hot when a guy shows that he likes to do stuff. Um, have at least one picture from the waist up. We wanna see your body. And have at least one full body picture so we see the whole frame of what you look like. If you have a photo of you dressed up at a wedding, that's very good. Women like a man in a suit. And then also include some picture of you in normal jeans and a collared shirt. So that's a high level summary of what kind of photos women do like. Um, please subscribe to my channel below. Check out datingsnippets.com. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to help. Thanks guys.